The Groovy Mr. Project allowed me to utilize the Mr. FPGA in a way I didn't think was feasible. Thanks to Groovy Mr., we can easily output content from a computer to a CRT, and the results are nothing short of amazing. PC applications need to support Groovy Mr. for this to work. However, Chang Lynch has taken things further and developed a Windows application that will output your PC screen to Groovy Mr. You are now not limited to applications that support Groovy Mr. Any content your PC can play can be sent to a CRT. But it is still important for applications to implement built-in support, as that will allow the applications to automatically specify appropriate refresh rate and resolutions for the content, and even provide better latency. Mr. Cas gives us a more general approach to this, but we can still manually customize output modes. Let me demonstrate some use cases of what you can do with Mr. Cas. One of the great things about the Mr. FPGA is how easy it is to output classic games to a CRT television. But as most CRT owners know, there are a lot of systems and games that are still yet to be supported on the Mr. FPGA, and many that most likely never will be. Now, with Mr. Cast, you can open up PC emulators for games and systems that are not supported on the Mr. FPGA project and output those to your CRT. Systems like the CDI, 3DO, and Dreamcast. Or arcade games like those based on the System32 hardware, 3D Namco arcade hardware, and many more. Besides unsupported Mr. FPGA games and systems, you can also use this to play modern retro style indie games. A lot of those games offer CRT effects to simulate the look of a retro television, but they are no substitute for the real thing. So games like Sonic Mania, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge can look just like their 16-bit counterparts used to. There's nothing stopping you from using Mr. Cast to play modern games also, but since these games were meant to be played on HD televisions, you will have a lot of issues with small text, letterbox gameplay, or cropping if you don't want your content to be letterboxed. But always make sure to check the resolution settings of a game because they might offer 4x3 resolutions that'll fit just right on a CRT. You can also try to change the resolution of your desktop to a 4x3 resolution if the game has limited resolution options, but you will still most likely have to deal with tiny text. Now let's check out some Windows and DOS gaming. PCs aren't meant to be connected to consumer CRTs, so the Windows desktop is difficult to navigate, but some games can look really good, especially low resolution ones. Here's Quake 2 in software mode. Now here's Quake 2 in 3DFX OpenGL mode. Here's the DOS game Screamer 2. And a 1980s CGA game, Operation Clean Streets. Another great use of Mr. Cast is to play standard definition content on your CRT from your PC. Some of this content can look much better on a CRT as modern televisions are sharp enough to show off any flaws in standard definition content. You can check out some movies, TV shows, relive the old MTV days and play some music videos, or even watch modern high definition content from YouTube, streaming services, or your own media. So how does Mr. Cast perform? You would think that outputting video over the network would be nowhere near as good as directly outputting to your monitor. But check this out. Using our Tenmios 2040p test suite and the slow motion feature of my cell phone camera, I determined that there is about one to two frames of lag in my setup. I tested the CRT against two monitors connected to my PC and mirroring my desktop. The small monitor is always ahead by around one to two frames. And most of the time, the CRT comes in second with my ultra wide set to a resolution of 800 by 600, not too far behind the CRT and sometimes comes ahead of the CRT. As far as image quality is concerned, it is excellent. 
But if you have one of the standard IO boards that output an 18-bit signal, banding would have been a problem, but not anymore. Thanks to rule set on the Mr. FPGA forums, a version of Groovy Mr. was created to support PWN to simulate a 24-bit signal. This is accomplished by quickly alternating between two color signals to get one in between, therefore reducing banding. The results were so good that the developers of Groovy Mr. officially implemented PWN. 18-bit color output is fine for most retro games during the 16-bit era and before, but once you get to the PlayStation and Sega Saturn generation, banding can be an issue. Banding was also a problem for me when viewing movies and TV shows. Let me demonstrate the improvement PWM gives when it is enabled. Without PWM, you can really notice the color banding in the background of this scene. But when using PWM, that banding goes away. It really is a game changer for 18-bit analog I.O. owners. I won't be providing a detailed guide on how to set up Mr. Cast in this video, but I will provide links to instructions in the description. And in this video, I will give you a quick overview on what's needed and go over some of the Mr. Cast options. First, you need to have a Mr. FPGA that is set up to connect to a CRT. You'll also need to download the Groovy Mr. Core and the modified Mr. Main file. These files will need to be copied to the Mr. FPGA. You'll need to download the Mr. Cast application to a Windows PC. And if you don't have the Visual C++ redistributable installed, then install that too. It's linked in the Mr. Cast GitHub. Make sure the Mr. FPGA and your PC are connected to the same network over Ethernet. Set the target IP in the Mr. Cast application to the IP address of your Mr. FPGA. If you want audio to be output from your Mr. FPGA and not your PC, then check off Enable Audio. Make sure you also enable audio on the Groovy Mr. Core too. Click on Start Stream and you're done. Your PC screen will now be displayed on your CRT. However, you might find that the default settings may not be suited to your needs. The Mr. Cast application offers tons of options to customize your viewing experience. You can choose which monitor you want to output if you have more than one. You can crop to specific areas of the screen or output your entire screen. There are predefined resolution options too. And if you're familiar with your CRT's capabilities, you can create your own mode lines for custom resolutions and refresh rates. You may find that one specific set of settings won't work for all content, but you are able to create profiles to load later for specific content you want to watch. This is why it's still important to implement Groovy Mr. support into applications themselves, because they are best suited to know the optimal settings for the content they are displaying and can automatically set those. One thing to know when casting your entire screen is the overscan of your TV screen. CRTs typically start drawing outside the viewable area of the screen on the top and finish drawing outside the viewable area at the bottom. So you will see the top and bottom portions of your PC screen be cut off. How much will depend on your CRT. A way to get around this is to crop to a specific area of your screen and resize your content a little smaller than the size of the area you choose. This will let you display as much as your content as possible. Again, you'll have to play around with the settings yourself to find out what you prefer. So that's the excellent Mr. Cast application for Windows. It has proven to be a versatile and powerful tool that makes the DE10 Nano a great companion for a PC that you use for retro content. Watching old TV shows and movies gave me the same feeling of nostalgia I got as when I first booted up a game on the Mr. FPGA on a CRT. This is all thanks to Groovy Mr. Developer Sergey Clara and Mr. Cast Developer Shane Lynch. Let me know if you tried Mr. Cast in the description. I would love to know what content you have used it for. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.